chaos for weeks. Our guys against their guys, and Morello gone to ground. But a boss can't stay hidden forever. For a Don to be feared, he's gotta be seen. Finally, word came through that he was gonna break cover. Morello wants to thumb his nose at us. Taking a show like there's not a war on, we'll meet him in the streets. We do him like this. We wait outside the theater till the end of the show. All those rich assholes will start coming out. That's when we hit Morella and his gorillas in a crowd before they see us coming. The theater's going to be packed, and not just with seps. There's a good chance the mayor, maybe even the chief, might be there too. That's the goddamn point, Tom. We kill Morella in public in front of the city's creme de la creme. Then they'll all know who's in charge. And it doesn't matter if you have a badge or a gavel or a fat wad of cash in your pocket. If you cross Salgari and his boys, you're dead. Okay, boss. We'll get it done. Take the machine guns. Make sure you don't draw attention to yourselves hanging around outside the theater. You keep the choppers hidden until you spot Morello. And then you light them up. I want it to look like that white suit is covered in roses. You got it. Sure, boss. This is it. We're finally doing this. Keep your head. We gotta get to the theater before the show's over. Tom, you're driving. We got the word, boys. Morello dies tonight. Tonight? Shit. Good luck, guys. Let's do it. Tom, can't believe after all these years we're finally going after Morello. Not his crew, not his family. Finally putting him in the ground. We're putting a lot of history to rest. What happens when he's gone? We'll be kings. Nah, I mean, what happens with the Don? You think he'll be all tore up? I think he'll start wearing a nice white suit. Boy's doing all right. Yeah, just sweating bullets. You look how I feel. Nearly there. Let's keep it together. When we see him, go for Morello. No one else. Once he's down, these guys will panic. We're actually doing this. He's been up against the boss for what, 10 years? More. You think that white suit would make him an easier target? Showtime, boys. Yeah. 
city better than anyone. Don't worry. This is gonna be a squeeze. Do you do have the ball, right bro? Buddy, unrat you, Tom. Come on, get him. Taking this all the way. Let's get this bastard. They keep coming. Where the hell is that bastard hiding? You like that? Hmm, got him. Got him. The rock. Oh. I need some ammo.
Man, I need some. I need some help, dude. Let's go. To be honest with you, I didn't even know I was shooting. <laughs> I thought I was driving. <laughs> and now we got a plane to catch. Okay, so now I'm driving again. All right. We follow. We see where it lands. We rush in, all guns blazing, and we finish them off. No way that bird's staying in the sky. That thing's not gonna land. It's gonna crash. It look like aeronautic to you. Thank Christ, we got you in the car, Professor. Morello's not gonna walk away from a plane crash. That's a maybe, but he ain't dead till we've seen him dead. Out of all of us, you two should know that by now. Where's he trying to take it? Maybe out near the racetrack. More chance of landing it safe outside the city. No air, maybe, but it's not gonna be safe. Wherever he comes down, we'll be there soon after. close. We've come too far to get lazy at the end. We don't have long. Every cop in the city is going to be on his way. We get out, we check the wreckage, we leave. Got it? Sure we do. Daddy doesn't even know it yet. Damn! He knows it now. Yeah, pal. That'll do it. D. Come on. Let's make tracks. He unloaded a full clip in him. See you on the other side, Marco. You fucking phantom. I've been chasing you for three goddamn years. You do life for this, Tom. Maybe you in the chair. You don't want the guy who was punching tickets. You want the guy who was handing them out. 
So that's what this has been all about, huh? You offering up Salieri. The Don's books. The ones Frank stole. I have them. They're enough to put Salieri away forever, and they're yours. Assuming we have a deal. My family. For the Don. You recognize anyone? Look again. Old man, that's Don Popone, two younger lads of Morello and Salieri. Yeah. Okay, I see it. That must be what? 1920? April. Morello's wedding. Salieri was the best man. Jesus. They're just kids. Not already soldiers in Popone's mob. So what happened? How did they go from being best mates to Morello on a slab? I don't know. I didn't even know they were friends. <laughs> but you don't know could fill up the fucking crash they're building. In 22, Papone drowns up at the lake. In order to keep things running smoothly, Salieri and Morello agree to divvy up the city. Yeah, I heard the story, so what? Well, their friendship should have made the deal work, but... Didn't make a lick of difference. After Morello, Salieri was beaming, thinking we ran the whole damn town. Me, I was just happy the war was over. But then I got to thinking about something. What good? It was all of Morello's money if it couldn't protect him from a regular Joe like me. Cabby, for Christ's sake. It only got him one thing. A great big bullseye in his fucking forehead. And that thought, it just kept turning round and round in my head until one day, I'm looking in a mirror. I start seeing a bullseye too. Right here. Dry your tears in the water hundreds, do you? I wasn't about to give up the good life, I know that. I just told myself that I, I was smarter than Morello. That I wouldn't turn around one day and find Polly or Sam pointing a gun at my head. The thing is, you don't see it. When you're out on the street, scrapping, fighting for your life, then the guy next to you isn't just your partner. He's your brother. You'd stick a knife in someone for your brother, right? But at night, you lie awake, wondering what he and Adon were whispering about behind the bar. Wondering if your best friend is hungry enough to betray you. Any trouble? No, boss. No trouble at all. Got something else for me? All these feels a little light. There's a little extra in mind to cover the difference. You ever go swimming, Tom? Been to the shore a few times, sure. I know a couple of guys once. Took some dames out to the lake. Had a few beers, a few laughs. Then one of them decides to go in the water. Gets to the center of the lake and realizes he's running out of steam. Can't make it back in. He starts shouting for help. Now the other guy, he's a strong swimmer. He goes out in the lake to drag his buddy back to shore. Problem is, the first guy, the one too stupid to know when the water's too deep for him, he panics. Grabs his friend by the neck and they both go under and don't come up again. Paulie's your friend, and I know you're loyal to him, and I respect that. 
but don't you ever pay his tab again. Okay, boss. Good. Now, we gotta talk about this Turnbull. The guy running for governor? The same. He's been flapping his gums a lot about cracking down on our businesses. That's rich. He spent more on whores than Paulie and Sam combined. <laughs> you want me to pay him a visit? Maybe put him on a take? No. You can't trust a hypocrite, Tom. We need to end his campaign aspirations, and in a way that keeps anyone from stepping up to the same platform. Vinny have a plan, then? Of course. Turnbull's holding a rally near Central Island. The spot he picked is hard to reach and out in the open. Should have a beautiful view of the rally from the tower of the old prison. From there, you'll give Turnbull the third eye. Okay. I'll go see Vinny about the gun. But don't forget, you only got one shot. You miss, and this crew will usher him out of there quick. I'm the best shooter you got. Otherwise, you'd be talking to someone else. And get it done. All right. Hey, handsome. <laughs> Ladies. You well, wasted on that wife of yours. You know that? Uh, Whoa, he'll excuse never me. look our way. He's a good boy. Oh, I'm on my wife like that. I gotta drive my baby with my car at. There it is. Oh, damn it. I'm so anxious to get on the road, man. I forgot to go see Vinny about the gun. Hey, Tommy. The boss says you got something for me. Yeah, I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. Now, Salieri wants this to run like clockwork, so no heat till the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these where you need it. So, up high in the old prison? Yeah. Family's got a lot of history in that place. Hoods who live there now ain't so classy. So watch yourself. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in a room with a view. Up on the top floor. I'm sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? Find a way inside and make for the guard tower. The top deck is locked. That's what the key's for. I bet. I, I gotta get to this prison. Pursuit is called off 
friend said you wanted the guard tower. Bade me to mark the way with this sign. Folks go through the sewer. Only way in. Then just keep heading up. I appreciate you. Where's the rifle at? <sighs> Give me that. This game is pure madness. Uh, shit. How long have I been out? So much for hiding. So much for hiding. Now hold on, let me get some health. I'm tripping. Good thing I looked down. Detain everyone you see. The police! We'll only come back, you bastards! Jesus! 
Jesus. I'm about to die. Hmm. I have no idea where I'm going. You can't escape. Every cop in the city is outside. Turbo is a good man. Hear that? A good man. Move up on him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Dead end. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nah, boy. Nah, boy. This mission took forever.
Did you hear about this Turnbull? Heard he was crooked as the day is long. It says in the paper he's going to be remembered for fighting to pass the 19th Amendment. Put his whole career on the line for it. Which one was that again? Woman suffrage, you idiot. He gave me the right to vote, Tom. Gave it to his wife and six daughters, too. Guess nobody's just one thing, are they? Guess not. I gotta go to work. <sighs> Tom, don't do nothing you don't want to be remembered for, you hear me? Probably too late for that. <laughs> Yeah, it's great, boss. And this is just a taste. I got a line on a whole shipment of Cameroons that have been impounded by customs. You guys are going to grab them. You want us to boost cigars? Something wrong with that? Customers in our nightclubs are paid through the nose for quality cigars. Still, it seems, I don't know, small time. I just knew you were a smart one, Tom. Can't put nothing past you. Small time is exactly right. That's how it's supposed to look, anyhow. The cigars are just a cover for a shipment of hot ice. The smuggled diamonds have been hidden in some of the boxes. The feds haven't found them yet. We're stealing diamonds from the feds? Don't worry about it. I've already discussed all the details with Sam here. He'll fill you in. Now, I got a meeting with the mayor at his favorite gentleman's club. Work out the details together. But I want those cigars back here before anyone catches on to the real loot. You got it? Sure, boss. Great. And don't drink all the good stuff while I'm gone. You know about this. Boss and I worked it out last night. We got a plan. Now, I'm not saying it's a good plan, but it won't get us killed. Probably. So what, then? We got a guy on the inside or something? No. We got to do this on our own. And it'll be rough. Cigars are packed in crates at the harbor. Shit. The place will be crawling with security. Yeah. Brute force won't work. We gotta play this one cool. So we're gonna steal a customs truck. Slip right in. Christ. I'm gonna kill the poor bastard driver. No. We'll just scare him a bit. All we need is his paperwork. Right. We don't need the hassle of dumping a body. Come on. Let's see if we can get eyes on a customs truck down by the docks. You all right, Tom? Yeah. Just trying to figure out the angle is up. What's there to figure? Boss has a job needs doing, we're doing it. Just seems like a lot to put on the line. Even for some diamonds. The feds pinch us. We can do serious time. Then let's make sure we don't get caught. Right? Yeah. I got gear for the job stashed down near the harbor. If either of you need something special, go see Vinny. All I need is a stiff drink. For Christ's sake, Polly, just lay off for one night, please. Come on, let's go. You're making me nervous playing around with your piece like that. Sorry. Just got a lot on my mind as well. <laughs> that show. I'd have figured there wasn't enough room up there. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh, assholes. You guys are done. 
I need to think I got plans. But you're wrong. You got big plans. Yeah. Spill it then. What are you working on? Been thinking about hitting up a savings and loan downtown. You want to rob a bank? Sure. I've been casing the place for months. I got it all worked this out. This dude's crazy. I just need a few guys I can count on to watch my back. We're robbing a bank that's a little out of our league. We're robbing the fucking feds, ain't we? What's the difference? Well, Salieri's the goddamn difference, you nitwit. The Don sent us to steal these cigars. There ain't no way he sanctions a bank job. Well, then we don't tell him. You want to step out on the Don? No. Not really. We can cut him in after we make the score. He'll be bent, sure. But he won't stay mad once he gets his share. I don't know, Polly. Yeah, I fucking know. You do what you want. I won't say nothing. Yeah, I owe you that much. So, Yeri? But well, he finds out you're going behind his back, you'll be planted right next to Morello. You ask me, there ain't no hall worth that. He's right, Polly. You bring it to the Don, or let it go. Yeah. Just get to daydreaming, you know. Wake up. We're here. Tom, we take the car. Find a custom truck and meet us near the impound. Me and Polly? We'll go get the rest of the gear. Right. You got your head together. Yeah. Sober as a priest. That's what I'm afraid of. Hey, quit busting my balls. I'm good. All right, find and steal a custom truck. I bet. I'm not. Wait a minute. Oh shoot, I know it was all the way over there. Alright, well, looks like I'm driving. I thought it was just gonna be somewhere around here. I drive.
Mark up over there, Tom. Where's my uniform? Huh? Uh, this is all we got, pal. Besides, there's only room for two in the cap. You can ride in the back. Make sure you keep your head down. This whole thing is blown. Forget about it. I know when to keep my head down. Mm. Make you say that to all the girls. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get moving. All right, all right. Jesus Christ. You comfortable back there, Tom? What the hell do you think? What's the plan when we get to the impound? I don't know. We look for crates that came from Cameroon or something. The cigar place. You know how big the impound is. Relax. It'll be empty this time of night. We'll have the run of the place. Ah, uh, crap. Uh, yeah. Uh, Pete, you got the papers? The dash! What was that? What was what? What? Here you go, pal. All right, go through. Busy night tonight. You might not find a spot. Hear that? There's gonna be guys everywhere. It'll be fine. Of course. On our feet. Thinking on my feet is my worst thing, Sam. You know that. time do you guys call this? We need to have gone through these shipments by sunup. Yeah. Sorry, we couldn't find our papers. Oh, we found them again. Just show us what to do, pal. We're new. We're all new, buddy. It's just that some of us know what time we got a clock in. Come with me. Okay, Tom, looks like it's on you. Get into the warehouse and find a cigar crate that's hiding the diamonds. Okay. They keep records on everything here, so search their files. They're looking for Cameroon cigars that came in on a boat called the Bohemia. Shipped off on Tuesday, 23rd. Got that? Yeah. Don't get caught. Don't get seen. And find us when you're done. That guy's working over that tonight. Dealing in a haystack ain't even the fucking word. Look for something, anything out of place. We are going to get through all these crates. Not even in a week. Night night. Even if I knew, I couldn't tell you. Guys back in D.C. got wind that something big has come through here. Something worth finding. Assistant director's not gonna sleep till he knows what it is. Oh my goodness.
Come on, where are you going? Come on, where are you going? Jesus Christ! Man down over here! There he is! <coughs> Take it! <coughs> To be honest with you, I don't even think I needed to fight them. <laughs> I just had to get in. Uh, well, you know, it's not as fun. Come on, fellas, let's speed this up. Once we're done with the small crates, we start cracking open the big ones next door. Money's good, but boy, he's famous. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Fuck me. Fucking tired of this. Interesting. Well then, lucky you, have an all night to search. Huh. This will help. Now, come here. Come here. <clears throat> no cigars, no diamonds. Keep 
keep hitting that button. Keep turning up squat. Gotta be finding it soon. Right, I know I'm close. Getting what we came for. We're aces, boys. Good. Let's get them loaded and get out of here. Something always happens. <laughs> That's the last of them. Let's dangle. I'm not riding in the back again. You're a better wheelman anyway. Just don't drive us into the bay. Shit. You hear that? Okay, Tom. Gun it. Let's go! Yep. Let's go! Jesus, Tom, it ain't comfortable back here, huh? Through the gates! This has been a break in at the Federal Coastal Impound. Suspects are escaping in a customs truck. I want roadblocks everywhere. Every cop in town's gonna be on their way. So let's get out of sight, fast as you can, Tom. Roads closed up ahead. Find another way. If we get seen, they'll raise hell. Wait, are we supposed to go through the checkpoint? It said avoid the roadblocks. So I'm trying to figure out. Anyone seen the truck? Call in with you, fellas.
Whoop, I want us now. So cute. We lost them. It's a miracle I found the crates. Next time we pull something like this, we need a better plan. More information. A better plan? He got the ice, didn't he? Yeah, but next time? No, next time what? We run it all through you? The scores like these are your best thing? Guys, I'm trying to drive here. Let's get back to the warehouse without LHPD on our tail, huh? Sure. We got the diamonds. The boss will be happy. That's all that matters right now. Those rocks had better be as big as the goddamn rich for all the crates we had to move tonight. Yo! 
this. I'm so glad we are so close. Let's go. Let's go. I didn't mean to hit him yet. Hey, Polly. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, a couple of these crates are shot to shit, though. How bad is it? It's the worst of it. It don't look too good. Don's gonna be pissed if we ruined any of the cigars. What the hell? Christ. It's dope. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Where are the diamonds? There ain't any. This is the real score. No. No, 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 no. Don said we would get diamonds. You can open every box. You're not going to find them. We put our fucking necks out on the line for this shit. Looks like it. You better cool off, Polly. The Don's coming. Shit. We don't say nothing about this to the Don. Okay, if he wanted us to know, he would have told us. He should have come clean. Sure. But for now, we keep our trap shut. Right? Yeah, okay. Polly? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I ain't saying nothing. Any problems, boys? One of the crates got a little banged up, is all. All right. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Might have lost a few cigars, but otherwise the merchandise should be okay, boss. Besides, ain't diamond supposed to be the hardest thing around? Outside of my cock, maybe. Well, bravo, boys, bravo. You all got a well-deserved bonus coming your way. You want us to unload the crates into the warehouse? No, you can take a powder. These morons are gonna take it from here. You sure? what I say? Okay, boss. We'll dangle. Sam, give me a lift back to the bar. Sure, boss. You guys coming? Nah, we'll take the train. Okay. See you later. Yeah, but what are you gonna do? I already told you. The bank. Yeah. I don't care what Sam says. I'm getting that score. How much you figure? You want in? We're just talking. I knew I could count on you, pal. This dude's out of his mind. So which bank? Grand Imperium. Near North Park, he's downtown. Yeah, been there. And I don't even know why I'm well, going through with it. Well, the security don't look tight. Easy getaway. Tellers who don't look like they put up a fight. Can't do it alone. Maybe. I'm not moving Black Tar for the Don. Especially if he's not cutting us in. And... I don't know. I just never want to be in that street again. What street? On my knees, watching some poor skirt burn just because she got in our way. It was the wrong place in the wrong time. Just tough luck. Seems there ain't no other kind with us. I'm telling you, Tom, this is perfect. I wouldn't ask you to come in on this if I didn't think it was our ticket. We'll see. I'm not signing up for the job until I see what's what. If I get pinched, Sarah's done with me. You got a family to look after. I get that. But think about what this could mean for them. Watch it, buddy. You're treading into enemy territory without a map. Yeah. I don't know what it's like for you going home to your wife and kid. But that's why I'm doing this. Who's gonna marry me? Nearly 40 years old and nothing to show for it but my rap sheet. But we do this? I get enough scratch to finally get out? Who knows? You're not built for the domestic life, Polly. Well, six months in, you'll put a bullet in your brain out of boredom. Christ. I'm ready to punch my ticket right now. 
We sit around for six months, just playing cards and busting balls, and I start to get lazy. Then everything blows up, and I gotta knock the rust off or I'm dead. One day I'm fighting to stay awake while the Don's telling us a story about the old days. One I've already heard a hundred times, and the next day, the next day I'm getting shot at, trying to keep from shit in my pants. It's fucking wearing me out, Tommy. So you're looking for the big one, though. I know, it's a snipe hunt. Every little monster goes to bed dreaming about that last big score. But if we do this thing, I don't know. Might be just enough to get me a little pizzeria or something, you know? Sure. But if we're doing this, we're waiting until things calm down. Ah, you're already hooked, pal. Maybe.